let's take a look at German articles. Articles are always associated with nouns in German. So, what are nouns? Nouns are words that name something. They can be something tangible, like you're able to touch it or hold it. Those tend to be a person, place, thing, or animals. They can also be something that's considered intangible or abstract. Sometimes tangible things are called concrete and intangible things are called abstract. Abstract things could include things like activities, ideas, events, um, emotions, concepts, and like I said, anything that is abstract or an abstraction. So something tangible could be um, a chair, a dog, a teacher. Something intangible could be um, uh, happiness, right? An emotion, freedom, an idea. In German, all nouns are capitalized. Not the entire, every letter of the noun, but the first letter of the noun is capitalized. In German, all nouns also have articles that are associated with genders. So, what are articles? An article is a word placed before a noun to show whether the noun refers to a particular person, place, thing, idea, or something that is unspecified as a noun, person, place, thing, or idea. The things that are particular would include things as a definite article. Things that are unspecified are indefinite articles. The definite article in English is the. The indefinite article in English would be a or an. In German, the definite and indefinite articles go with the gender of the noun. Is something masculine, der, feminine, d, or neuter? Das. Masculine, männlich. Feminine, weiblich. Das, sächlich. So, common elements of der articles would be things that are already considered masculine or people who are male. Here's just a few examples. They can also be nouns that when we think about them in English have absolutely no gender whatsoever. So, there's other things that aren't considered male um, that are masculine in German. The same can be said for definite articles that are feminine or D. Many of them are attributed to um, individuals who are female. So, die Frau, die Mutter, die Königin, the lady, um, or wife, the mother, the queen. But Similar to the male verb, uh, sorry, male nouns, there are also nouns that take on a gender that have nothing to do with being female. Here's just a few examples. German also has a third gender, or das. Das is considered neuter. There are people <laughs> who have the das article or are considered neuter. Here are three examples. You also have a number of das or neuter nouns in German that are not assigned um, masculine or feminine, and they take the das or neuter form. So here's just some examples using the der or definite articles and the ein or indefinite articles. So, der, die, das, those are definite articles. Oops. Um, and then we have ein, eine, and ein as our indefinite articles, which in English are a uh, and the. So, der Mann, die Frau, das Kind, man, woman, child. Ein König, a king, eine Königin, a queen, ein Knabe, a knave or prince. In plural, the articles are always going to be D. And you cannot have many of, um, you cannot have one of many. 
So there are no indefinite articles. You wouldn't hear me say, I read a books, right? That doesn't make sense because you can't have one of something that is many or plural. So you could say, I have no books or I have a few books, einige, but you cannot have an indefinite article for the plurals. Now, um, because every noun has a gender, there are also pronouns that all mean it. So, der Mann ist hier, the man is here, er ist hier, he is here. Die Frau ist nett, sie ist nett. Das Buch ist neu, es ist neu. So, der has er, die has the pronoun sie, das has the pronoun es. And if you look at them closely, they're quite similar. Der, er, 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 d, z, i, e, i, e, das, es, has the s. So those may be helpful tricks to remember. This ends part one of this video. We'll be continuing to explore nouns, um, noun genders and their pronouns in German in the second video.